Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Keeping Up with Curie, and I'm back with another video. If you are new here, welcome to our family. On this channel, we are a family and we talk about all things faith, business, and lifestyle. And if that interests you, then you've come to the right place. So as you can see, yes, I am at work. Um, I have a little downtime, but I do just want to let you guys know um, a few things. I want to give someone some motivation, even if it's myself. Um, sometimes we're good at giving advice, but not practicing what we preach and I've been guilty of some of those things I can help anybody and give anybody any type of advice but when it comes to myself I don't even think about it so today I just want to let you guys know um if you're having difficulty with accepting where you are right now I came today to tell you that you are exactly where you're supposed to be don't let anyone tell you otherwise don't try to compare yourself to other people you're exactly where God wants you to be. And we must realize in order for us to move on or grow, we have to realize that we need to accept where we are and maybe shift our focus a little bit. Maybe you're in this position because you're going about your next step the wrong way. Like me, for example, I was so anxious to leave my job. Like I wanna be an entrepreneur full time, but am I really ready for full-time entrepreneurship? There are a lot of things in me internally that has to be done to prepare me for full-time entrepreneurship and i think as i said in my last video we want to skip the process and we don't want to be prepared for the blessing we just want it and i was that person um actually two months ago when i stopped filming or stopped recording actually i was that person i was obsessed so i was going to work and i'm like oh like i was trying to find every little thing that was wrong and i had to I had to self-reflect and tell myself I'm here for a reason. I'm in this season for a reason. I'm at this job for a reason. And the gifts that God has given me, I need to use them where I am instead of just trying to rush and do what I want to do because I want to do it. So number, number one, that was flesh and it wasn't, you know, the spirit leading me. And it was just because I wanted to do it and I was anxious and we all um, get that feeling we all feel anxious and want to do things right away and we just want to do it just because we want to or because of what we see and you also have to be careful of the places people and things that you're influenced by because that plays a big part on a lot of the choices we make we're influenced by the things that we see on instagram you see all of these entrepreneurs you see all of these um, influencers and you're inspired or you're influenced by the material things that they have the lifestyle that they live when you don't know what they're going through realistically they're just showing you the picture that they want to show you and you know we just have to be careful that we're not influenced and we're the ones doing the influencing you know and not being influenced because that can just number one it'll start comparing you to other people number two it'll start making you self-reflect and self-doubt that you're not worthy of this or that or you're not you feel like, oh, I'm I'm 25 and I haven't done this, this, and this. We have to stop putting time limits on ourselves as well. Number one, I'm, again, guilty of that as well. And I'm going to be very transparent with you guys. When I was younger, younger than 25, I'm 25 now, I would say, I'm going to be married by 25. I need to have my house by 25, this, this, and this. That is not the way life works. And unfortunately, that is how society that's how society operates. They make you think that you need to have this. Oh, I want to be rich by 25. I need to be this by 30. I need to have my kids by this time. That's not the way it works. And we can say whatever we want to say. But if our, if it doesn't align with God's will for our life, <laughs> you're basically just wasting your breath. You have to be willing to, you have to know who in charge all together. And, you know, I just wanted to motivate you. Don't, don't ever feel like you are less than or unworthy of something because of the position you're in now. That's not the case. You might just need a little work done internally. You might be a procrastinator like me. I work very good. Sorry, I work really well um, under pressure. That's not healthy. So that's something that I have to work on before my business gets up and off the ground and successful. Those are things that you have to think about. So I'm not ready to be a full-time entrepreneur. I aspire to be. That's a desire of my heart. And I know like the Bible says that he will grant us the desires of our heart, but we have to be willing to go through the process. And now I'm in a place in my life where I am content with where I am because I know where I am. I know why I'm here. 
in this place in my life. I know why I'm here and I must be content in order to move on. So disregard the background noise, but you must be content before you are ready to move on before God need to see that, okay, you know, we have to show gratitude. Number one, it's so much going on in the world and nobody should fix their mouth to be like, oh, well, I expect it to da, 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 da. It's so much going on in the world and we need to just wake up with a grateful heart. Every day I pray and I thank God for life, health and strength because someone didn't wake up this morning. And like I said, you have to be content with where you are because it can always be worse. Just when you think you got it bad, someone else has it worse. So I'm not gonna go on babbling rambling i'm just coming to tell you that you're in this place in your life for a reason um talk to god and ask god to help you reveal ask him to reveal the reason why you're in this place you know he will we must seek him and once you seek him you will find he said ask and you shall receive seeking you shall find knocking it shall be open the door will be open so we must seek him that's the problem we don't want to seek him we just expect to just I don't know, but we must seek God. And like I said, again, you're in this place for a reason. So just be grateful for where you are now because you're in this season for a reason and he is preparing you for greater. So that's going to be the end of this video. Again, I am Kiri. This is Keeping Up With Kiri and I love you guys. Have a great day.